So, no slides. I'm taking the risk of doing interactive demonstration, so hopefully not too many bugs in the software. What you see is a Python filter design and analysis software, mainly designed for didactic purposes and DSP courses, but it's also possible to generate coefficient sets for filters for doing things on microcontrollers, Verilog, or whatever. And in the end, I'll show you, I'm looking for people to cooperate to help me with implementing Verilog stuff, maybe Amaranth stuff, and there'll be more information on the slides that we'll be able to download. I'm just doing interactive now. So let's say you want to have a digital filter to um, reduce your sampling rate from 48 kilohertz to 24 kilohertz, and according to Nyquist, you need to uh, eliminate all frequency components above 12 kilohertz. So we design a filter. which does exactly this. You can show the specs that you would like to have. Like here, minus 60 dB, and here is the um, pass band. Then you can do all sort of stuff that usually only interesting for students, like looking at the phase, <laughs> or the group delay, or the poles and zeros. Um, with the poles and zeros, ah, oh, it's the wrong filter, okay. With the poles and zeros, probably the more informatic-minded people of you are not so aware of this. Uh, you can show how the poles and zeros sort of um, create your magnitude response of the filter. I'm not going to details. Come to my DSP course if you're interested in more details. <laughs> um, so what's more interesting for people working with hardware is probably taking a look at the transient response. Everybody knows, can understand what a transient response is. And at the coefficients. So these are the coefficients, the factors, that you need to put on your microcontroller in your DSP hardware to get this filter response. These are in float here. And you usually don't have float on most FPGAs and on low performance microcontrollers. So you can quantize them. And here the default quantization is like 13 bits integer, 15 bits fractional, makes 18 plus one sign bit is 19. That's too much. So we'll reduce this to 11 bits. Coefficient length, quantize. We don't see a difference, but if you now go to, the, to this here, you see that the specs are being slightly violated. So we say, okay, good enough for our purposes. We leave it that way. And we now apply some sinusoidal stimulus. And um, in order to check whether everything is still OK, you can't see this from the wave shape. You could better see this in the frequency domain. So this is the response. And this is the stimulus. Of course, it's sinusoidal, so you just have one frequency uh, one component at one kilohertz, but your response doesn't look good, and that's because we forgot to wait the settling time for the filter. So it looks better, but there's still things going on. This filter has a long settling time. Okay, now we see we put a sinusoidal signal into a signal into a filter. Sinusoidal a signal comes out of it. If I increase the frequency to like 15 kilohertz. Ah, okay, no, this is no longer periodical. So, okay, I'll switch it back. No, I don't. Okay, now it's periodical again. Um, yeah. What you need, actually, if you're doing some hardware implementation, you need to take a look at the fixed point implementation of your filter. So this is the structure, the topology of a very simple IIR filter, which nobody with right of his mind would do ever, but this is just a simple demonstration. So here we can now say, okay, the accumulator needs 30, 40, 34 bits. <laughs> So, 
<laughs> so we needed some help. So now is the roll call. What's the help that you need? You want people to work with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, OK. So what I need, <laughs> which I haven't shown you, so I'll do a video on my YouTube channel about this, is um, doing this stuff here needs to be described in some uh, hardware description language, in some domain-specific language, like Amaranth. I tried this, but I somehow didn't really uh, manage this. Or to help me verify the Verilog code that will be written out of this, or to help me verify the coefficient sets, the fixed point coefficient sets, if anybody of you is working with, with filters. So yeah, that's what I'd like to do. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.